Hi everyone, I'm Jack, a radiology trainee in London. If you want to be competitive in your radiology specialty training application, then you'll need some radiology themed audits in your portfolio. The problem is, some of these can either take a long time or never get finished at all. In today's video, I'll explain what an audit or quality improvement project is, how to do a quick one, I'll give you some examples of some quick audits and quips that you can do, and then talk about how to take your audit that next step further. I've put some more examples and templates on my website, the link's in the description. I've also put timestamps in the description, so just skip to the parts that you want to watch. Audits and quality improvement projects, or QUIPs, are processes whereby patient care is improved by reviewing a department's performance and making changes. The difference between the two is that audits compare your performance to a national or a local guideline. For your radiology portfolio, you want to complete an audit or a quip where you demonstrate a positive change, and that means performing a cycle, implementing a change, and then repeating that cycle. So now let's look at what makes a quick audit. My first tip is to use an existing template. Coming up with an audit or quip idea from scratch is actually quite hard, and it's especially hard if you aren't in a radiology department already. If you go to your radiology department asking for any audits or quips they have, there's no guarantee that they'll have a simple and quick one ready for you to do. However, if you go with a few audit ideas already and with a protocol, then the radiologists are more likely to support you in conducting the audit. Fortunately, I've put a few audit ideas and templates on my website, but also you can go on the Royal College of Radiologists Audit Live database, which is a collection of radiology themed audit templates that you can conduct in your local department. The link to that's in the description as well. My second tip for a quick audit is to ensure that the data is easily available, ideally electronically. The slowest audits you can do would involve going to medical records, requesting paper patient notes, waiting for them to arrive, and then flicking through them page by page to find the data. Fortunately in radiology, most of the data is electronically stored, and you can often complete an audit cycle within a couple of hours. My third tip for a quick audit is to get help. Data collection becomes a lot easier if you have some help, either from a medical student or possibly another colleague who's applying for radiology. For example, you could each lead your own audit and help each other with data collection, so then you would get your names on each other's audits. My fourth piece of advice is to choose a short audit period. If you audit your department's performance for the past one year, you do get a lot of data. However, if you want to repeat the cycle, you're going to have to audit for another year. That will really drag out the time it takes to do your audit. So I recommend keeping the audit period quite short, ideally no longer than a month. My fifth tip for a quick audit is to make sure you're only auditing one department. For example, if I audit the quality of CT requests from A&E, I need to involve them in the audit as well. If I don't involve them, not only will they be annoyed that I'm scrutinizing their performance, but also it'll be hard to implement any changes without their help. Involving other departments in your audit has its uses, however, it does lengthen the time it takes to conduct your audit, as you'll be communicating between both departments. Ideally, only audit your own department, which is radiology, and I'll now give you a few examples to illustrate that point. So here are five quick audit ideas for you. Number one is an audit of the turnaround times for inpatient radiograph reporting. Inpatient x-rays or radiographs need to be reported in a timely manner because the results can influence clinical decision making. According to the audit template from the RCR, the turnaround time should be one working day. All you need to do for this audit is to go through all of the inpatient x-rays reported in the last one or two weeks, then compare the time where the examination was completed and the time when the examination report was authorised. The difference between those times is the turnaround time which you're looking at. You can then compare that with the one working day target. This is a good audit to do because the data is being produced automatically as the x-rays get reported. All you have to do is sit down and collect the data. Number two is an audit of the alerts placed on urgent or actionable findings. When reporting a scan, if a radiologist finds a finding that's either an emergency or unexpected but significant, they have to alert the referring clinician and there should be a fail-safe mechanism for that to happen. That can be either through email, telephone, or through the electronic patient record. For this audit, you would go through all of the reports within a certain time frame. For example, you might choose the emergency department CT reports over a month. You would then go through the report and check for any critical or significant unexpected findings and look at whether those were alerted. Again, this is a good audit because all of the data are electronically held and you're only auditing the radiologists by looking at the reports. The downside is that you'll need closer supervision from the radiologists because they'll know about local referral pathways and also which diagnoses warrant an alert. The third quick audit idea is an audit of workstation ergonomics. 
Radiologists spend a lot of time sitting at their desks, and this makes us prone to things like repetitive strain injury, back pain, eye strain, and other musculoskeletal problems that office workers would face. Over time, these injuries can lead to sickness absence and lost productivity. This is also a topic that's typically not taught to radiologists in training. The health and safety executive has a checklist for how to set up your workstation, including your seat height and your screen height, for example. So to conduct this audit, send out a survey to all of the radiologists in the department, asking how often they experience things like back pain or wrist pain. Also in that questionnaire, ask about different aspects of their workstation ergonomics. After that, you can create a poster or conduct a teaching session and repeat the survey. Although I usually tend to avoid surveys and audits, if you can get the radiologists on board, then this is a potentially very quick and straightforward audit to perform. Number four is an audit of image-guided biopsies. If a radiologist takes biopsies using image guidance, such as ultrasound, fluoroscopy, or CT, it's generally a good idea to audit the performance to ensure that the biopsies are obtaining adequate samples and also not causing complications. To do this audit, search for all of the image-guided biopsies from a certain time period, read the report to see if there are any immediate complications, check the medical notes to see if there are any post-procedure complications, and finally read the histology report to see, firstly, if an adequate sample was taken, and secondly, what the histology showed. This is another quick and simple audit because a lot of the data is, again, electronic. You do have to be mindful that many radiologists already audit their own biopsies so it's worth checking with them first. You can also conduct a similar audit of any procedure in radiology, and that extends to interventional procedures. Lastly, if you can't find an audit template, then feel free to design your own. For this, it's good to have a discussion with the radiology registrars and the consultants in the department, and keep an eye out for anything that you think requires improvement. As long as you bear in mind the tips I mentioned earlier about what makes a quick audit, you can easily come up with your own ideas. This video is starting to become a bit long, so I've put other audit ideas and templates on my website and the links in the description. After completing your audit, run it by your supervisor, make any changes, and then try and present it at your local audit meeting. Not only is this helpful for the department, but it also allows you to prepare a presentation and practice presenting it, because afterwards you should try and submit this audit for a national presentation at a conference. That way, your one project has got you more points. Some audits can also be published in a scientific journal, and some may also involve holding teaching sessions as the change to be implemented, and those can also be used to get points for your portfolio. Remember, it's important to be efficient with how you use your time, so from the one project you can get points in multiple domains for your portfolio. For more quick audit ideas and templates, remember to check out my website, leave any questions in the comments, like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.